Are you a brand new final expense insurance agent? Maybe you're a frustrated telesales agent. Well, I'm going to give you the three telltale signs that you need to know so that you don't fire yourself out of this industry. A lot of people think this business is really easy. Just, man, I'm going to make piles of money, rivers of money. And then they find out they get rocked by a couple little things that they could fix. But these are three reasons that you will actually fire yourself out of this industry without even knowing it. So I'm going to give you an intimate deep dive into these three reasons that you actually fired yourself, all right? So I hope you enjoy this content today. And before I do, my name is Jason. I'm your friend in the industry, and I am so blessed to just partner and recruit some of the most amazing brand new and veteran agents alike, including insurance agencies, partnering shoulder to shoulder, selling life, Medicare and annuities face to face, but more importantly, in the telespace. And this is something that all of us will face at some point in your career. And I hope this changes you for the better so that you can capitalize because there's no life like the independent insurance agent life when you make it and do a couple things intentionally and really right. So let's get after it. Thanks for partnering with us in this content today. And I hope it is a help to you. So if you're taking notes, tip number one agents that fail out of this industry and actually terminate themselves, so to speak. Tip number one, they don't train. They don't train. They're like, I'm good. They put themselves into a position where they isolate like that little sub that went down, okay, and then imploded on itself. When you isolate and think you know everything, bad things unintentionally will take place. I know when we're in pain, we want to be like that dog that just goes off on its own and fixes itself. Then you find it gone underneath of a tree. This happens sometimes, and it's horrible, but insurance agents will do this to themselves. Agents that fail to train get sloppy, and they see themselves in this like terminal velocity effect. Agents that don't train are actually quitting on themselves because they don't want to do the hard things that are necessary and needed for them to have success. This business looks like hard work. It looks like discipline. It looks like a lot of rejection, which does diminish belief. But when you fail to train, you're truly quitting on yourself. You really are. I haven't seen a really successful insurance agent that doesn't train on the weekly. You're going to put yourself into a place that you're going to get whooped. You're going to isolate yourself and implode your career because you didn't train and you didn't hang out with a bunch of warriors. This is a business where, yes, you should be for yourself, but never by yourself. That's why a work family is so important. We do one-on-one -on -one mentoring and coaching. It is really something that makes a difference in an insurance agent's success in agents that don't see themselves in a place that they need any form of training. They've got it made in the shade. Unless they're a 10-year veteran that really has dynamic success, they will see themselves actually failing out of the industry because they're going to these soft places that diminish success. So agents that fail to train truly are quitting on themselves, which out even, they don't even know it, all right? And it doesn't mean you're going to be perfect. I just flubbed over my own tongue. That's going to happen to you as well. It's okay. It's about really just moving forward. That's all it is. Don't let the F word, the failure word, touch your lips. You can last. You can make it. But it's going to take a lot of discipline, a lot of determination, and this little grit about you to really get up every day in the times where it's painful. And training can be painful too. You can learn what to do, but also learning and training what not to do. It's good for you to not only give but also to receive. Tip number two, if you're still taking notes, and I hope this is a help to you, is leads. Agents that don't buy leads are on the path to failure. You don't believe in yourself, and belief is the backbone of the insurance industry. In the moment that you don't take that intentional just moment every week to purchase your leads, what you're doing is putting yourself into a position of failure. You're losing right now because you didn't believe in enough in yourself to purchase these leads. You've got to have the laws of large numbers on your side. And sometimes you have a week that maybe didn't go according to plan. And you're like, well, I bought a batch of leads uh, last week and I only got one, two, three sales. So I'm going to hold off this week and just work what I got. This is a recipe for failure, my friends. And I hate the F word even coming out of my mouth. I hate failure. But what I've seen from agents that quit on themselves and ultimately failed, because what happens is you start 
putting yourself into a position where you give yourself a pass where I'm, I, I'm just not going to train this week. I'm just not going to train tomorrow. You gave yourself a pass and you're putting yourself out of the industry without even knowing it. Tip number one, you didn't train. Tip number two, you're giving yourself a pass on not buying leads. You're like, you know, I'm just going to wait till next week. And then next week turns into another week. And the next thing you know, you don't have leads. You're dealing with a bunch of old stuff. And what you actually did is you put yourself out of the industry slowly. It's like you're turning the oxygen tank off slowly you got nothing up in your lungs you will feel lost when you are an agent that doesn't buy leads on the weekly you will never make it when you're not investing in yourself and if you don't believe in yourself enough to buy leads on the weekly and work those leads like you're going to go broke my friends you're going to fail out of this industry because you failed to buy leads on the weekly agents that don't buy leads on the weekly normally aren't warriors they're wanting full-time success right but they're not investing in themselves enough to be able to attain full-time success. You're like, I want to be a full-time guy. Yeah, but I'm only going to buy 30 leads a week. Come on, that's part-time. And then that's not even like great part-time lead flow. 30 brand new leads a week. If you're not a face-to-face -face final expense insurance agent, you're on a path to failure. That is not full-time leads. You've got to have enough leads to launch. If not, you're going to feel lost. You will implode your sales career, my friends, because you didn't buy enough leads. You quit on yourself slowly. This will just sink you, not only financially, but you're going to say this industry is horrible. It's because you didn't give it the proper prioritization with number one training. You didn't give it the proper prioritization with leads. You've got to believe in yourself to buy leads. If not, what you're doing is putting yourself out of the industry slowly, and this will sink your chances of finding success. So don't quit on yourself, my friends. You can make it, but you've got to get the odds in your favor. You want to find success by finding leads every week, brand new leads, so that you can dig deep with back to tip number one, training. You've got good technique, good objection handling skills, so that you you can hopefully make a bunch of sales, pay your bills, and be the beast that you know that you can become. Believe in yourself because you show up to training every day. You know that you can get better. You can get sharper, sharper, sharper. You're like that scalpel, right? Your barber's strop, that leather strop. You know what I'm talking about? Am I aging myself? That barber will use a leather strop to actually keep that edge. And a lot of insurance agents lose their edge because back to tip number one, they don't train and they don't take this business seriously. They get sloppy and they screw themselves out of the opportunity. Number two, they don't buy leads once again. I cannot hammer this point in enough. If you don't buy leads, you will feel lost. It's not fun when you're doing telesales and you're calling a bunch of old numbers. I'm not saying you can't have tremendous success, but you're going to put in a tremendous amount of time, effort, and energy, which is exhausting. But aged leads are great. And if you need good aged leads that are 90 days old or less for under two bucks a piece, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. We'll get you those resources if that's what you need. But get away from aged leads as fast as you can and get into new leads only if you can afford it because you may have have more time than money and you know what you got to use your time wisely or you're going to get whooped in this space so tip number three this is the reason that you're going to quit on yourself and fail out of this industry this is a telltale sign is that you're busy but you're busy not being productive. You're busy organizing your CRM. You're busy uh, playing around with your calendar, reorganizing this, playing with that, setting up your CRM, um, setting up my wink, wink systems all dang day. I'm going to be a killer someday. I'm going to be like 10 steps ahead. And you're not doing the most important thing right now. You're doing two things right now, my friends income producing activities or income reducing activities. You've got to put your movements into two hats. You want to have success all about income producing activities. If you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent, that involves door knocking. That involves getting on that phone and setting appointments like Ron Popeil's chicken, set it and forget it. If you're a final expense telesales agent, that means get on that phone and start dialing for dollars. If you're not dialing for dollars, what you're doing is you're destroying your career. If you're playing around with your CRM, you're collaborating with other successful people. That's great and all, but it doesn't do jack, diddly, or squat, and you will see yourself in a place of failure. You're going into terminal velocity, you're going down and you're not coming back up. You are submarining your career and you're going to implode. You're not going to make it. There are only two, two things that you're doing today. Income producing activities, 
right? Or income reducing activities. Playing around with your CRM is an income reducing activity right now. If you're uh, organizing your leads again, income reducing activity. All right. You're busy like thinking about what you're going to do next week. You're already losing out on the now. Now, now, now is a gift. You got to get going. Am I doing income producing activities, which is prospecting, prospecting, and prospecting? Or are you reducing your chances to win? You've got to train. Tip number one, you've got to buy leads or you feel lost. Number three, you have to be focused on income producing activities. I believe in you. I know you've got what it takes, but it's easy to go into an income reducing space because we get a little bit of security in the busyness thinking that, oh, well, if I just stay busy, then my chance uh, will be okay and be better tomorrow because I've organized this or that. And that very thing will put you out of this industry, and I don't want you to fail, all right? So make sure you got good mentors who can speak life into you as you sell life insurance or annuities or maybe Medicare insurance. If we can do anything to serve you, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. Know that you've got what it takes. I believe in you, and I know that you believe in yourself. Don't let that F word of the industry failure ever touch your lips. Know that you're going to love this industry by doing some things that you're not always going to like. Feelings will find you broke, my friends, but if you eliminate these three things, things, you're already scaling yourself for success in the right direction. Hope this helps you. Share it with a buddy if it would be a blessing to them. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope you have an amazing day. We'll see you soon, my friends.